Hi, my name is Kerry Bunks, and I'm a PhD candidate in the Lab for Artificial Intelligence and Music at Queen Mary University in London. The title of my talk is Modeling Harmonic Similarity for Jazz Using Co-Occurrence Vectors and the Membrane Area. Now, most people are familiar with Shazam, the app that can recognize songs from a few seconds of recorded audio. However, Shazam does not work for live performances. This is because of many differences between a recording and its cover, including timbre, timings, arrangements, electronics, room acoustics, and so on. The problem becomes that much more difficult for a genre like jazz, where a significant part of each performance is improvised. Generally, the problem I'm interested in is in the identification of jazz songs from live audio. And the hunch I'm working with is that it is going to be the harmony that is the most consistent and discriminative feature for this task. We obtained a collection of chord progressions from a software application called Improviser, a free open source project developed by the late Bob Keller and his students at Harvey Mudd College. The corpus contains 2,612 jazz standards, and it is the largest collection of symbolic jazz chord progressions we know of. As shown on the table, it has over 134,000 chords, of which there are 1,542 unique symbols. That said, many of the symbols occur only once or infrequently. So to improve the expressiveness of the data, we use music theory to map all symbols to a set of 61 representative classes. After mapping the chords to classes, we then embed them using their frequencies of co-occurrence. This is like the bag of words method used in Wordtovec, and for our problem results in a 61 by 61 matrix. The rows of that matrix then become the chord class vectors. We use the vectors to represent chord progressions. This is done by constructing a path in 61 dimensional space. The path begins with the first chord from the progression. Its vector starts from the origin and has a length normalized by the number of beats for the chord. Stepping through the chord progression, each new vector is attached to the chain of previous ones, creating a path as is notionally represented in 3D by this figure. For any pair of songs, the area of the membrane established between their two paths can be computed and should be small for harmonically similar songs. To test the metric, we performed an experiment with a list of 80 well-known jazz contrafacts. Contrafacts are songs that compose a new melody over an existing harmony from another song. That said, the harmony of a contrafact is typically not identical to that of the original song, often containing many reharmonizations. For each contrafact, we compute its membrane area with each of the other 2,611 progressions in our corpus and note the rank and closeness of the original song to its contrafact. As some original songs have inspired multiple contrafacts, we do not expect original songs to always have the number one rank. The results of this experiment are represented by the histogram shown in this figure. As illustrated, the median rank is 18, meaning that half of the original songs rank very close within the top 0.7% in harmonic similarity to the contrafacts. The full results are described in the paper. To conclude, we found that our method performs much better than an alternative baseline technique as described in the paper. We also found that the co-occurrence uh, vectors captured some of the structure of jazz music theory, similar to how word embeddings capture some of the structures of natural language. And the next step in our work will be to use our chord embeddings as an initial layer to deep learning neural network architectures for use in music information retrieval tasks. Well, thanks so much for watching and please come visit my poster.